One of the things that the Mindframe National Media Initiative has done is really started a conversation between the mental health and suicide prevention sector, the community and the media. And I think that conversation is the most important thing that's happened. So while many countries in the world have guidelines or resources for journalists about the reporting of suicide and mental illness, what they've generally lacked is the kind of open dialogue and the engagement between sectors that I think really makes a difference. Mindframe, not only in Australia but worldwide, is really leading the way on the way we have conversations about suicide in the public arena, in the public media, across internet, however that communication occurs. I think it's, it's very important for the media to set the tone um, and I think there's a lot that, that's been done, particularly in Australia, um, with proactively the likes of Mindframe working with the media, but I also think that the, the media needs to start to change the conversation a bit around mental health and have a much more open um, and honest and continual conversation around topic areas. Well, reporting on suicide and mental illness is probably one of the most sensitive and complex uh, issues that a journalist can cover. Um, so I think partnerships with um, Mindframe, which has really led the way in um, providing guidelines for journalists, uh, uh, are vital. I think it's important, um, because mental illness may not be the focus of a story, um, it may be a, a story about a broader issue or a, it might just be a, a passing mention, but it's still important for journalists to pay special attention because the impact that uh, misreporting of mental illness uh, can have on the broader community uh, is quite significant. Not only does it um, add to prejudice and stigma, um, but it can directly harm ind individuals. I think it's really important that we can, you know, kind of stop stigmatising mental illness or mental health in the media if there are instances or reports of a suicide, that we actually report those safely. I think it's really important when we have this 24-hour media cycle, the, the fast pace of digital journalism these days, it's important to have those resources uh, readily available and the expert-based advice and guidelines for journalists to make what are really crucial decisions? I think for me one of the things that um, the media and mental health um, uh, organisations um, can learn from the way that the US and, and UK media is now operating is to really engage with the conversation on, on social media and actually actively engage with people who are out there and steer the conversation around these issues. I think really, well any time that we work with the media, I think really just touch base and reminding people that you're working in a mental health sector, that there is Mindframe guidelines out there, the fantastic new app that's just been launched is even easier. My tips for any journalist covering um, suicide or mental illness would be to think and then think again uh, and then to you know talk to other people in the newsroom about the issues that might arise from reporting on it and of course you know have a look at what Mindframe provides through this app and their other resources.